Hey folks, Dr. Bob, how do I stay young? Well, I just turned 65 and um, I have bounding with energy. I really have a ton of energy. I still run a six minute mile. So let me tell you what I do to stay healthy. Uh, the first thing is I get enough rest. I get enough sleep. Very important. A lot of people, they get up in the middle of the night and then they can't sleep, quote unquote. Um, I'll get, I'll do a sleep video some other time. Um, but you really just got to get that amount of rest every single day. Two, I drink, I get up and I start my day with water. That's the first thing I do. I mean, I take some serapeptides, I do other things. I'll get into the details in another video. But I have a big tall glass of water, like eight ounces. Okay, and then I have another one. So I always tell people, um, I'm going to talk about fasting here a little bit because there's this intermittent fasting. Well, I eat at night, you know, whatever, dinner, 7, 8 o'clock, and then I don't eat again until noon. So I've got this like 15-hour intermittent fast every single day. This is one of the healthiest things you can do. you got to clear out the digestive tract every day. People eat and eat, they eat three meals a day. I knew this guy that was in this health business, my business, and he was, this guy was obese. He was, and he died of cirrhosis of the liver because he ate too much. He ate his, he ate his way into the grave. So you got, so I drink, I get up and water. I drink water all day, throughout the day, except around meal time, half an hour before, during, a half an hour afterwards. But I drink a ton of water. I mean, a ton, I drink at least a gallon usually a gallon and a half every day I spread it out through the day never drink more than one liter per hour what do I use for my protein well I don't use animal protein this is vastly inferior protein it's the one of the things that have just just a, it's a brick wall with people I mean you know they just cannot they want their meat they want their eggs they want their dairy products whatever and um, you know the healthiest way to go is with the vegan way so no meat fish eggs or dairy use spirulina and chlorella the most powerful foods in the world and they're 60 percent protein that's what you want to be taking every day now I've been doing that for 25 years now I've been a vegetarian by the way uh, 42 years so these are just inferior foods. We cook them. You got to extract the nutrients. They're a bit difficult to digest. Um, so get away from it and start taking spirulina and chlorella. Because one thing I'm never going to worry about is getting a disease and dying. I know I'm going to die, but it's not going to be from a disease. I know that for sure. You just got to live in a raw food diet. Don't cook your foods. Cook your foods as little as possible. So we're addicted to cook foods. Try to go one day without eating. Um, cooked foods. You see how difficult it is. So I live on a raw food diet. So many reasons. It's alkaline. It's full of enzymes. It reju has rejuvenating properties. The next one, you know, get your probiotics, the friendly bacteria. This is so critical to building up an immune system and having healthy gut health, okay? Your microbiome. Um, you're not going to have good microbiome if you're eating a bunch of fried foods and fast foods and junk foods and pizzas. That stuff tastes good, but it's just garbage. It doesn't. There's no fast food tree. There's no pizza tree. I've said this a million times. Get your probiotics, the friendly bacteria. Um, I have a full spectrum probiotic that I like and a digestive enzymes. Very. I have a product with both of them in there, pro, uh, digestive enzymes and uh, probiotics all in one. So I do that. So next is exercise. I exercise every single day. Um, I miss it usually two times a week maybe I might miss. But use, I mean, I'm always getting exercise. I'm always walking a lot. But I do vigorous exercise for 30 minutes every single day. I, I, I have an elliptical. I put it on level eight. I go three and a half miles or more. Sometimes it's three and three quarters in 20 minutes. So I'm moving and I'm exhausted at the end of it. That's the way you should be. Then I do my abs. Then I do some lifting. Then I, you know, I do some climbing and I got a climber. Uh, I've got a rower. So, but it's only 25, 30 minutes at the most and then I'm done. So you don't want to do these long, um, you know, work out for hours and hours and hours because it really just breaks down the body too much, causes too many free radicals and too much acidity in the body. Last is, what do I do? Positive mental attitude. You've got to stay positive up here. You know, there's a lot of negative things come in and into your life and uh, all the trouble we're having now in the world. These are negative things, but you've got to stay positive. You've got to know, well, you know, look at the positive things. I'm not on my deathbed, okay? I'm not sick with cancer. And if you are sick with cancer or any other disease, you know, start listening to guys like me and you figure out how to get rid of that cancer. So stay positive, you know, pray, pray, pray to God. I do it every single day. Dr. Bob, this is what I do at 65 to stay young, to stay youthful, to have abundance of energy. I feel great every day, clear-minded, 
This is what you got to do. I'll see you guys next time. Well, YouTube really did a number on me when I spoke out against, you know, you know what, a couple years ago. And uh, they demonetized me. They gave me a strike and they kind of hid my video so I couldn't, you know, nobody could find them for a while. I went from, you know, thousands and thousands of hits on every video to just a few hundred. And uh, anyway, so if you can like and subscribe and comment below, it helps out a lot. It helps in the algorithms. I'm trying to build myself back. I really appreciate it. Check out all my books on audible.com.